back now on Try It Today, and I'm sure we've all watched these uh, uh, crime shows on TV, and you'll see people convicted or going on trial and that kind of thing. You don't hear too many people talk about how you clear your record. We're going to do that. It's something that comes under the heading of expungement. I'm going to learn about it with this very special guest. Anastasia Traumatosi is an attorney with Dummett Fraden, Attorneys at Law. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Nice at the garden, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty, beautiful. Pretty out here. Very, very beautiful. Um, now, what does it mean to have a charge against me expunged? What does that mean? Right. So an expungement is a legal process where an individual can petition a court or go in front of a judge to have one of their charges removed completely off of their record. Uh, when you're charged, whether you're found guilty or not, that charge will show up on your criminal record. Just, it will just be there. And you say so you petition to go before a judge, not a jury, but a judge. A judge. Now, um, did, I, did you email me something one day about a new law that's going to go into effect in North Carolina? What's that about? How is that going to affect what we just talked about? Right, exactly. Yes, I did. In December uh, uh, 2020, this coming December, a uh, new law is going to be passed that's actually going to broaden the scope of expungements who's, and broaden the scope of eligibility of individuals who can apply for an expungement. There's a number of different ways that the law is going to change, but one thing which I think is important to note is right now, under the current law, if you have a felony and you're charged with something that's been dismissed, uh, let's say the state erroneously charged you, there was not enough evidence to convict you, you're innocent, that charge shows up on your record. Even though it's it was dismissed in court, it's showing though, up on my record? Even though. And right now, if you have a prior felony on your record, you can't get those dismissed charges expunged. They'll just remain there. I hate to act like a nine-year-old, but that's not fair. Exactly. I mean, you, 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 if, if something's been dismissed, you just, I think people will assume it's gone. Right. So now we're saying, hey, you better call up folks like Dummett Fraden or talk to somebody that can help you get before a judge because if you don't, it's just going to hang over you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, now, is there a difference between misdemeanor charges and felony charges? Does it make it any easier to get certain things expunged or what? There's different criteria that you have to meet uh, if you're trying to expunge a convicted misdemeanor versus a convicted felony. Uh, the criteria is similar, but if you want to uh, expunge a felony, for example, um, you have to meet three three things. Uh, you have to wait 10 years after that felony has been convicted. During that 10 year period, you can't have any other charges. You can't pick up a single charge. You also can't have a prior felony on your record and you can't have certain uh, misdemeanor charges that are exceptions. I'll go over those exceptions. But if but if uh, if it's a misdemeanor thing that's on your record, that's usually easier to get. You don't have to wait as long, right? That's right. Misdemeanor is the waiting period. The, the to uh, the, the waiting period is only five or seven years when you have to wait. Now, other than the obvious of, hey, expungements can be good for you because it doesn't hang over your, or stay on your record. Other than that, what's a benefit of having something expunged? The benefit of having something expunged is anytime you're applying for a job, if you're trying to get a loan and you want to buy a house, or if you're uh, even trying to lease a property. Um, I have to say that I'm a convicted felon if I don't have it expunged. Right, exactly. You have to say you're a convicted felon and those agencies will often pull a criminal record and they'll see those charges even if it's dismissed as we already discussed. You know, they're going to see those type of charges and that's going to disqualify you from a lot of positions that you could be qualified for. But if I go to you and you help me get in front of a judge and we have a record expunged and then I go apply for a job the next week and he says, have you ever been convicted of a felony? I can say no, right? You can say no if that charge has been expunged. It okay. usually takes about one to three months for the expungement to process okay. through the court system, but you can say that you have not been convicted because the charge has been expunged. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. I'm glad you told us that. Uh, up on screen, dumbatfraden.com is the website, or you can call 877-978-3218 to find out more information about this or some other services, or that's a good way to get in touch with Anastasia. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. All right. We'll be right back after this.